the Orlando Magic have never been this close. Success has come with startling speed. Their maturation continues with every shot, every rebound, even every miss. Tonight, the Magic can take one giant step into their future. They are one victory away from the finals. The Pacers are hoping for yet. And look at the huge numbers for the three games in Orlando. But early foul trouble has cost him playing time and production here in Indiana. Now Shaq loves to show his open court skills, and Reggie just can't foul him hard enough. And when he catches this close to the basket, forget about it. And down the stretch. Up, It's game six of the Magic and Pacers at Market Square. That was the setting earlier in the week for the game four classic. Jackson able to stay with him. Hardaway with a nice pass for O'Neal. And the game tied at five. Well, Rick Smith's got all turned around. That ball on Miller. Well, Rick Smith keeping his eye on the ball. And as he looked up, way too late as the pass over his outstretched arm. The horse again. He's just going to keep shooting. O'Neal with the step. And again, Smith saw he was beaten and stepped away. Winds up right into the hands of Reggie Miller to nail his first three. He has dislocated the right shoulder three times this season. Nick Anderson with a three-pointer. Grant met by the double, able to whip by Jackson. The tip by Grant. Horace Grant getting a piece of it. Sam Mitchell also on the floor for the first time. The Pacers have a foul to get here to possibly stop before the Magic get into their shot. Hardaway going all the way and what a move. First half, they now lead by 17. O'Neal, yes, and it counts. Jam it as a quick, hard move this time on a nice spin by Shaquille O'Neal. Making the basket and the chance. He's been replaced by Sam Mitchell. Pharrell blocked by O'Neal. Houston Rockets, a team coming off one of the... six minutes while his teammates outscored the Magic by nine points. O'Neal with a jump hook. 15 for Shaquille. The pace in that little spot on the floor when things do break down and he's generally wide open at 17 feet. And Shaquille with 17 points but very quiet games for Horace Grant 0 for 4. Smith. Miller came up from the backside looking for the steal, but on him. Well, this third quarter coming to a close. Hardaway doing it off the dribble for three. Mark. All right, Jim. Antonio Davis was called for that foul on Shaquille O'Neal. Hardaway hit a three a moment ago, does it again. Very rare that we've seen. And then when it comes in the second time, that's when the double team is coming with Shaq's reading, finding the open man. Nice pass. O'Neal set up by Bull. Concerned about the score right now. He wants to be out there. He wants to compete. He wants to try to send a message to the Pacers as, as if he can man. for game seven. But I don't think he's going to be out there too much longer. Would you be concerned about Mel Daniels amongst them and Doug Moe? And the deal was that if he won the car, the three of them, if any of them won, the three of them would sell the car and split the profits. Well, in the middle of the game, and Matt talking about how much longer Shaquille O'Neal is going to play. He just looked over at Brian Hill as I was walking down the court and told Brian, do not take me out. He wants to We'll take a break. When we come back, we will hear from one of the Pacers stars tonight, Ricky Miller, that is coming up after this.